Well, actually, you don't know that I'm not wearing green. Okay, so I, you got like an undershirt I, or socks. Or socks. There socks. you go. Yeah. There you go. Head bring out the hat. Unlike today. this guy. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten, gotten a couple of uh, St. Patrick's Day spirit I contribute photos. So, what did you call him? I have an, a name for this dog, Rufus O'Patty. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. He's got his awesome sparkly bow tie. Maybe you should borrow that. Just like that. your hat. <laughs> like, right? And you know what? We tried to, of course, get in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. Let's take a look at Viper. You can see down to the south, a little bit of green down there, a little bit of white as well. So we got a rain snow line just to our south. We're not going to be seeing that storm system. Of course, I got my green on as well. But when you put the green hat on at the green wall, it kind of disappears. Oh well, we're in the St. Patrick's Day spirit. High pressure will keep us dry today. Today again, this storm system stays down to our south throughout the day. We will be looking a little bit of snow through the Dakotas, but that will pretty much disappear. High pressure is going to be kind of making the clouds disappear, just like my hat right now. Uh, we will be celebrating St. Patrick's Day with sunshine, so happy St. Patrick's Day. But. The bad news is that, well, the jet stream down to our south, and that traps the cold air to our north, which means we will be stuck in the cold throughout the day today and through early next week. Here's the big storm system we're talking about for Monday. Really not a huge weather maker for us. This is just going to be a nuisance snow. Most of us just looking at about one to two inches of snow from this system. We're going to have to wait till Monday, though. I think most of your morning commute should be okay. We'll time it out on future forecasts in just a bit, but right now, dark skies across the airport. We're at 23 degrees though not as bad in Milwaukee. But those winds, of course, from the north right now, making it feel a little bit colder. So wind chills are in the teens for many of us. We're only going to see our highs climb to around 30 degrees throughout the day today. Average high temp this time of the year, 43. I would love to have a 43 degree temperature. I'd love to have an overnight low of 58 degrees like we had last year, but not going to get that. 74 degrees was the high temp last year. Back in 2009, it was 75 degrees. Of course, the luck of the Irish with our warm St. Patrick's Day has pretty much run out. High pressure keeping us at least in the sunshine throughout the day. Easterly winds will be lighter compared to yesterday, but we will see a few clouds along the lakefront, maybe even a flurry or two, but most of the day stays dry. Then tomorrow, I think, should be dry through most of your morning commute. Snow showers, showers develop after about 9 o'clock in the morning. They move across the area. I think we still have a chance for a little bit of light snow through about 7 o'clock. Then that chance pretty much tapers off. We'll be looking at clearing skies as we head throughout your Tuesday. But cold, reinforcing cold air is just going to be the story throughout the work week. For today, only 27 degrees in Fond du Lac, although feeling nicer in the sunshine. 30 degrees for the high in Waukesha as well as in Milwaukee. Again, a few more clouds at the lakefront. May see a stray flurry just just because that wind will be from the east. That wind starts to ramp up though tonight. 25 degrees in Milwaukee, 22 inland. The cloud cover increasing from the west to the east as that next storm system approaches. And the winds a little bit on the breezy side on Monday. 36 degrees for our high again. Most of the snow showers develop after about 9 a.m., then coming to an end by about 7 p.m. So that's going to be giving us about one to two inches of snow for much of a, our area. Could see a couple isolated three inch totals the further north into the west you go. But overall, not a huge storm system, just a bit of a nuisance. Going to have to, some places are going to have to shovel again. The good news is, again, temps will be very close to that freezing line, which means the salt will be more effective. And then we're just stuck in the ice box Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the 20s with overnight lows in the teens, even at the lake. A lot of people are very happy.